Can the 2020 Acer Predator Helios 300 take down the Asus Tough A15? Well, in this video, I'm putting these two laptops head to head to see how they perform in video editing, Photoshop, and motion design benchmarks to see which one will come out on top. Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If you're curious about the exact pricing of either of these laptops as we're going through the video, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, it will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Also, if you wanna get a discount on the Asus Tough A15, you can use the discount code BEN3 over at Computer Upgrade Kings to get a discount on this laptop or any other laptop on their website. Jumping right into the build quality, the Acer stands out due to not only its aluminum top cover, which the Asus Tough A15 has as well, but the Helios 300 also has an aluminum keyboard deck. Otherwise, both laptops are well built. They have strong hinges that open and close smoothly with minimal screen flex, which to me is a sign of a thoughtful, well-crafted laptop. Both laptops come with nice keyboard decks, they have great key travel and key press, and they are quiet while typing. I will say that I prefer the layout on the Asus Tough A15. I'm a big fan of the left shift key, uh, and this Asus Tough A15 has a full length shift key placed right where my finger expects it. Rather than the Acer, on the other hand, having a shift key shrunk to about two thirds the size. And so for me, I ended up missing it from time to time, which threw off my typing. So personally, I prefer the Asus Tough keyboard. The Tough comes with a Arua RGB keyboard lighting that can be quickly changed directly on the keyboard deck. The Helios 300 also comes with RGB lighting uh, and can be edited quickly with a variety of different patterns directly inside of the Predator Utility app. Both trackpads have good touch sensitivity and gestures. However, I prefer the dedicated right and left click buttons on the Asus Tough A15. I will say that the Acer Predator Helios 300 has one of the best gaming laptop trackpads that I've ever used. So really this one comes up to personal preference for you. The Acer Predator Helios 300 has a wonderful all-in-one trackpad, has great touch sensitivity, click gestures, etc but I prefer those dedicated right and left click buttons uh, because while video editing or designing, I feel like they give me more consistency and better accuracy. Both keyboard decks feature control of the fans turbo and quiet modes. The Acer has a dedicated button and the Asus Tough features it under the F5 function key. This makes it nice to boost the fan or slip it into quiet mode if you're in a meeting or classroom. Each laptop totes a full HD matte display with a refresh rate of 144 hertz, both laptops have had 720p webcams along the top bezel and speakers beneath the keyboard deck for good sound. Not excellent, but they will get the job done. Color accuracy is one of the areas that I will give some extra credo to the Helios 300. The Helios 300 has a 97% sRGB and 77% Adobe RGB, whereas the Tough A15 only reaches a 66% sRGB and a 49% Adobe RGB. The Helios is the clear winner in the color gamut range category. However, if you're a video editor considering the Asus Tough A15 uh, and you are considering also using an external monitor like me, you can easily overcome this by picking up a color accurate monitor to do your color grading on. And I will link a few options for you in the description below. If you're someone that likes to be on the go, then weight and battery life are important to you. The Asus Tough A15 weighs in at 5.7 pounds and has a battery life of 6 hours for web browsing and 2 to 3 hours for design and video editing. The Acer Predator Helios 300 weighs in at 5.1 pounds and has about a 5 to 6 hour battery life on web browsing and a 2 to 3 hour battery life for design and video editing. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, gently press down on that like button and let me know how you plan on using this laptop by dropping a comment below. If you want more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you miss out on any of the future uploads. Okay, let's get back into the video. Regarding the ports on each of these laptops, I always encourage people to think about their own use case. The latest and greatest ports are great, but only if they fit your needs. So observe the ports shown here and then choose wisely.
All right, now that we know the usability of these two laptops, let's check out the performance. The Acer Predator Helios 300 comes with the Intel 10th Gen Core i7-10750H with 6 cores and 12 threads. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 with 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, 16 gigs of GDDR4 RAM, and 512 gigs of NVMe SSD. The Asus Tough A15 comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 4800H with 8 cores and 16 threads. The NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti with 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and 512 gigs of SATA SSD. Do note that the Asus TUF has more RAM, uh, but the Helios 300 has a more powerful GPU. And I do my best to get these laptops to be spec'd exactly the same, but I just simply can't coordinate with every vendor to send me exactly the same specs for each laptop. So I do my best for these reviews, and I hope you understand. Now, if you want a multi-core beast, then the clear choice is the Asus TUF A15. You can check out the Geekbench scores between the Helios 300 and the A15. The single core performance is nearly the same, but with the A15 scoring a 8,210 on the multi-core and the Helios 300 scoring a 5,558 on the multi-core, you can see that the clear winner in this category is the Asus Tough A15. With the specs mentioned, how do these two laptops hold up concerning Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, as well as other graphic design programs like Sketch or the Affinity Suite? They will perform well, and the way I test these laptops is using the Puget Systems Photoshop Benchmark Tool. If the laptops can score well on the Puget Systems Benchmarks, I know they will perform for graphic designing as well as photo editing. The Helios 300 scored a 613, and the Asus TUF A15 was able to outshine on this test with a 759. Really great scores, but I'm most impressed with the TUF A15. Regarding motion design, I am also using the Puget Systems After Effects and After Effects Render Benchmarks to test these two laptops. On the standard After Effects test, we can once again see the Asus TUF A15 dominating with a score of 812, and the Acer Predator Helios 300 coming in with a 683. A great score, but I will say that the Ryzen processor with its 8 cores and 16 threads is definitely outperforming the i7-10750 with its 6 cores and 12 threads. The Helios 300 closes the gap during the render test with a score of 593 to the TUF A15's 661. The TUF is still beating out the Helios, but not as much as during the standard After Effects test. Now for the main event, in my opinion, video editing. First, I'm going to start off with a playback test. For this test, I'm going to use a 9-minute 4K clip, adding some motion graphics, and then playing it back in the timeline at full quality. This clip contains 16,177 frames in total, with 7,240 of those frames being motion graphics. The TUF A15 can play back the full quality 4K footage in the Premiere Pro timeline with only 95 drop frames thanks to its GTX 1660 Ti. During the 4K playback with the Helios 300, I saw only 62 drop frames. Both laptops can handle half quality and fourth quality playback very well. So you might see some more drop frames while multitasking, but you can easily switch to half or fourth quality to continue to get smooth playback in the timeline. Moving on to the 4K export test, I'm going to take a 9 minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, then export both out at 1080p and 4K YouTube settings. The Helios 300 can do the 4K to 4K export in 2 minutes and 49 seconds, and the Asus TUF A15 can do it in 7 minutes and 20 seconds. The Helios 300 can do the 4K to 1080p export in Premiere Pro in 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and the A15 can do that same export in 3 minutes and 52 seconds. Out of DaVinci Resolve, the Helios 300 can do the 4K to 4K export in 12 minutes and 41 seconds, and the A15 can do that export in 6 minutes and 37 seconds. The Helios 300 can do the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p export in 7 minutes and 3 seconds, and the A15 can do that same export in 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Lastly, as many of you want to know, how are the thermals and noise during the export? The Helios 300 comes in cooler, not by a lot, but cooler nonetheless. It comes in at 81 degrees Celsius once stabilized during the 4K export, and the A15 comes in at 86 degrees Celsius once stabilized during the 4K export. What I find interesting is the noise. During the 4K export out of Premiere Pro, the Helios 300 reached 51 decibels, and the Asus TUF A15 reached 49 decibels. Both laptops remained at a reasonable noise level with the fans during the export, throughout the entire export. If you're looking for a laptop with excellent export times out of Premiere Pro, an aluminum build on the top cover and the keyboard deck, as well as great color accuracy, then the Acer Predator Helios 300 is a great buy. 
But if you're looking for a slightly more affordable laptop with good exports out of Premiere Pro and great export times out of DaVinci Resolve and excellent multi-core performance from Ryzen's latest 4000 series processor, then the Asus Tough A15 is a great buy for you. Again, if you're curious about the exact prices between these two models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. And if you do make a purchase to that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Don't forget about the discount code BEN3 to get a discount over at Computer Upgrade Kings. And otherwise, if you're curious about more videos of the Asus Tough A15 or the Helios 300, you can click or tap the screen over here to check those out. Keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.